All right, so uh, let's go to the phones. Let's do. Tiffany? Yes. 25? Yes. What's up? I have a so-called boyfriend. I'm not sure what we are anymore. We were in Germany mm. together. We're both military. Mm. We have a son together. He went to Iraq. He just came back. I found out Valentine's Day. Wow. He can't be older than three or four, and he's already serving the country? No, my boyfriend. It's absolutely amazing. Hold on a second. You want to talk about American. You know, That's there's plenty of, people, plenty of people that brag, well, you know, I was in Desert Storm or I've been to Iraq. Yeah, yeah. You went in your late teens, 18, 19, maybe 20, 21. I mean, she's 25. This kid cannot be older than five or six years she old. She swaddled him He's, in an American flag. And sent him off to Iraq. Now, right. I, ca I don't think you could handle certain jobs. Maybe ball turret gunner, you know? <laughs> something yeah. where a diminutive size would be to your advantage. That's something I could see. I couldn't see out, you know, you know, uh, just, you know, as a Green Beret or a SEAL or something like that. No, just, you know, Johnny Ground Pounder would be tough. But I imagine there are jobs that are suited nicely for a five- or six-year-old, you know. Any kind of, of turret work would be good. Sure, they could be the guy who actually fed the ammunition belt to the guy in the trenches. Tunneling? You know, had to, Tunneling? Underground? Tunneling? Tunnel rat, yeah, where they yes. got to send a guy in. Yep, just a forty-five and a flashlight in their mouth. Go get him. <laughs> Kid's probably a tunnel rat. You're right. Okay, I say ball turret gunner. You say yeah. tunnel rat? Yes. Okay. Tiffany, what, what's the kid doing over there in Iraq? And, and by the way, God bless you. God bless you for I doing I am moved. That. I am I'm beside myself. I'm Truth. so delighted with this caller. Yeah. While other kids are just wetting themselves and trying to get into the first grade, your kid is defending this country uh, abroad. God bless you. What's he doing over there? My son or my boyfriend? You said your son was over in Iraq? No, my boyfriend. He's with your son? No. What's, what's the weather? <laughs> They're both in Iraq? My what are boyfriend they doing? was in Iraq. Your boyfriend lives in Iraq? He was. He just okay. got back. I found out Valentine's Day he was back. So he's an Iraqi guy? No. He's an American. No, he's just living over there. Okay. No, he was fighting for a country. Okay, he wants to go fight by his son. Oh, God. I think that's, I think that's noble. I don't noble, think my dad noble. would ever do that. But let's just keep going. Anyway. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with us. One, he's not told his family about our son. Mm. Um, my mom keeps telling me, oh, well, he's married, he's married, he's married. And I keep telling her, no, no, no. So I want to know if I'm holding on to a dream Let me just cut you off one of him quick coming thing. back to me. Hold on. A couple things, Tiffany. First off, you don't have to give the triple reply to the triple uh, statement. Like if, you're, if your mom goes, he's married, he's married, he's married, you can just I'm go, sorry. no, he's not. You have to do. <laughs> it seems like it makes sense mathematically to do the same amount of no's as, as she says he's married, but, but one not still works. Yeah. Now, what do you mean he's married? He's married. He's married. Yeah. Well, what is that figure? Trying this? to tell me that maybe he's married because he's hiding his son from his family. His family what? has no idea that he, me or his son even exist. Oh boy. Uh huh. Where does All he right. live? What does he do? I mean, how do you? How, I mean, how do you guys meet? Where does he live? We were we were in Germany together. Mm -hmm. I see. That's right. Mm -hmm. I see. Good hey boy. Yeah. It doesn't sound... Well, first off... Our uh, son's only 15 months old. Wow. He, he, that he, much I, more impressive, Drew. Uh, that they, much you, more you said he was so three, I Adam. Know. What I, I thought know he was is... three or four fighting over there. 15 months. This is now... That's incredible. This book of world record material. Oh, and, off, and he's a code cracker, too. This kid... This is a wind talker. This kid will be a four-star general by the eighth grade. <laughs> Easily. That's my Easily, prediction. Yes, yes, Keep easily. an eye on this kid. All right, so Tiffany. So uh, your, 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 your mom's explanation, uh, your sort of uh, deci de deciding that he is married, is actually her attempting to make him into a good guy. Because at least if he's married, that is a reasonable explanation for why he's behaving that's motivation, the way he is. yeah. Right, as opposed to the fact that he's just an a-hole, a sociopath. So am, I, so am I holding on to a dream that he's going to come back to me? Yes. I think probably. We don't know. I mean, I, I, you know, we don't know. This is a horrible situation. But you need to really get some clarity from him and his family, too. I mean, he, he has an obligation to you. He has a well, child you need, with you. you. Well, need I mean, to... he, he takes care of his. I mean, he sends money. I mean, he takes care right. of his son. 
All right. How long has it been? We haven't seen each other since July of 03. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, 03? Madam Butterfly here. Wow. Is his name... Uh, God. Never... Yeah, I don't know what that soldier... Should, what, I'm, I'm, to, I'm screwing myself up. I barbering yeah. it up. Yeah. You're, uh, oh, you're in Miss it. Saigon over there? Where are you going to start singing the Miss Saigon stuff? No. It's no. Not, but Puccini. Yeah. No, All I right. love him. I do. I, and Miss I Saigon? do anything in the world for him. Madam Butterfly. All right. Sorry. Who am I thinking of? Madam All right, Butterfly. Tiffany. Tiffany. Yes. Uh, okay. You, I know you love him, and I know there's this sort of magical thing that uh, people have, which is, I want it so badly, it, therefore it must come to fruition. Uh, you wanting him to come back to you badly is like you just really, really wanting a, uh exotic automobile that you're never going to own. Is it Pinkerton? All, all you're wanting, quiet, all you're wanting is not going to get you the car. Right. You can't do anything about it. It's not. It's. It's not like the car is going to come find you because it feels how badly you actually want it. He doesn't care. He's made that uh, clear. He's also he's, made it he's clear. He's gone for that nearly two years. Two yes, years out of your He's life. also but made it, it clear. Military duties. He, he's not a good guy. I don't trust this guy. You should shouldn't have crapped out a kid with this uh, breed of cat. Uh, you made a mistake, and now you're going to have to get realistic for uh, not I only you but mistake. your child. I didn't trade my son in for the world, you know. Well, I, that's that's the weird part about all this. You made a mistake that it was with him, and yet you're blessed with something that you really value. So, well, you, know, uh, the, you got this a, a 15 month old fighting machine, is what you have. <laughs> it's a good luck. <laughs> I'm hoping he'll take after us, but well, I think he's already started if he's over in Iraq. But look, I don't want to digress. You need to take care of your child, take care of yourself, and uh, move on. So how do I move on? Uh, Are you well, another, I, start dating. Start dating and take care of your child and look at this guy is uh, missing in action. Yeah. Or better yeah. yet, uh, killed in action. Maybe uh, I don't, build, I don't mean build the story accordingly. But well, I mean, what do I do when he calls ahead. and he decides to see his son? Well, when is he when is he going to do that? When's the last time he's called? Well, the last email I got was Valentine's Day. What and did he say? Saying that he was home. And? That was it. He <laughs> said that he was getting a phone hooked up and that he was getting a cell phone. Yet, I haven't had a call yet. Right. Okay. Listen, Tiffany, you're not good parent material. You're, you're a mess. Please try not to screw up your kid. This and guy, as far as yeah, as far as what you should do when this guy calls is uh, exclude him from change your phone number, exclude him from your life. It's better your child think that he is somebody else. Yeah, he's not a good guy. Yeah, he he, uh, you know, a month ago he tried to call or something. I, I mean, I I don't I don't understand it. This guy has a child. He has a, a woman. I don't know what he's doing. You have to move forward. Okay, here's the thing, everybody. And by the way, that guy probably has children with other women. That there's kind of guy. A, there's a decent point. And they're probably fighting in Iraq as we speak as well. Of course. Oh, Although okay. they, could, they could be older, like four and five years of age. Uh, let me say this. You can't get other people to do the right thing just because it's the right thing. Right. My God. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And everyone wants to know why. Why would he do this? Why would he call and then not, you know, contact me again? Why would he not want to see his own child? Why, why, why? Why would uh, Hitler round up the Jews? Why? Why? I don't know why. I I'll tell you why. There's bad people. There are mm -hmm. people out there that aren't great. It, there's, uh, there's shades of gray. There's people out there that, you know, kill college nursing students and, uh, you know, uh, have sex with their corpses. That's, uh, that's super bad. Uh, not as bad as publicists, but it's getting up there. <laughs> Then they're just guys who, you know, crap out a kid and they don't see him. They move to Florida. That's bad, too. Not as bad. Why? There's bad people. Is everyone as surprised by this? Turn the news on. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, you see? You see you're watching the news. Oh, somebody blew up an embassy. Somebody shot his wife. Uh, somebody robbed a bank. Yeah. Your guy, he's somewhere in between one of these guys. You know the, the what I'm confusing, saying? Yeah, and the confusing thing about this when you talk to that bad person is they don't feel like a bad person. 
and they have reasons for what they do. And sometimes they're not bad people, just doing bad things. You know what I mean? It's conf it's confusing for people, and yeah. because we've gone and because we've well, gone through a period of history, on, by the on. way. Yes, yeah, true. I don't want to. I don't want to. Don't go to the tsunami thing again. Steam. Yeah, yeah. Don't I'm go not, to the tsunami I, thing. Again. No, that's that's you. I wasn't going to go there, but I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not going there again. You can just think about that yourself. Uh, I am going to say that if you do bad things, you're a bad person. I'm now I'm now comfortable with that. Well, I don't. But think I, I'm about not into this. Not not a bad guy doing bad things. If you do bad things, you're a bad person. Good but we think about it, we've gone through a period of history where everything was that you can't judge, everything's relative, right? Yeah. And so it's hard, so people get confused about these things. No, they absolutely do and and there's this sort of thing where well you don't know until you've walked a mile in their shoes. Just look. I don't want to get to know everybody. If you do bad things, you're a bad person.